Okay, so we have been talking about what kind of drawing. Who knows? Raise your hand if you know. Tell me. A blind portrait. A blind, we're missing one word from there. A blind blank portrait. Tell uh, me. Portrait. Good. Everybody repeat after me. <clears throat> <laughs> we all making. We all making. I'll do this upside down. <laughs> we all making. We all making. A blind. A blind. On tour. On tour. Drawing. Drawing. All right, so here's how we're going to do this final project. So we've had some practice last class, and we already know that this method of drawing is a brain exercise. It is not meant to look realistic. It's meant to work out your brain muscles. So on your desk, you have your handy dandy self portrait mirror. Remember, they are two sided. And they go with you and the person you share a pencil with. Okay? Don't play with them because they are breakable and flexible. On, on your tray, you have some green, what's called um, rail board. And it's like much thicker than paper, but not quite as hard as maybe a poster board. When you first get this, <clears throat> I will write. I will write my name. My name. And my class code. And my class code. Then flip it over. Then flip it over. Now on your tray you have two types of paintbrushes, yet you have no paint. You have these two paintbrushes. This is the one we will start with. This is the one we will draw with. But this one we're not actually going to use as a paintbrush. We're going to be using the end of this to carve into the paint and show us the negative green space. Once you have your name and your class code and your head is down and your paper is flipped over, I'm gonna come around. I'm gonna come around and give you just a squirt of black paint across oh. your top. Now what you are gonna do here okay so you've got to strip it black. Now your job is to just sort of pull this down in strips. We're going to leave a bit of a green border around so you can see that I'm not going all the way to the top and if it's not a perfect border that's okay. We do want to thin out the paint and now for your contour you are going to have to work relatively quickly because you have to do this before the paint dries. So I have like a nice smooth surface with a green border all around. This brush can go on my tray and I'm going to very quickly Pick up this brush like it's a pencil, so I'm working from the blue side. I am looking in the mirror, I am not looking at my paper, and I am being very careful. Not to. Put my palm on. In my hair, off my neck, short. Okay, now it's a little bit hard for you to see on here, but as it dries, you're gonna have a gloss, and then you're gonna have a matte imprint in here. Um, and at this point, you are done. Now, when you go back, what I want you to do is I want you to rinse the end tip of your brush off of here, and then put it face up in the correct basket that are back by the soapy brushes. I want you to dip this brush into the soapy water, rinse it around several times, and then rinse it off with your fingers under the water and put it face up back in the thing. <clears throat> My artwork. My artwork goes to goes to drying rack. Dry rack. Once my area is clean. Once my area is clean. I may get one piece of free draw. I'm one piece of or read a book on the art carpet. Or read a book on the art carpet. 